Exercise can help our bodies in many ways, increasing energy levels, reducing pain, improving muscles and bones, also help with joint pain. One health problem in particular is to relieve osteoarthritis. That's a form of arthritis that results from worn down tissue. News 13's Megan Myers has this week's Health Desk Report, sponsored by Bay Medical Sacred Heart. More than 237 million people in the United States have osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis creates joint pain, a limited range of motion, and joint stiffness. It affects your hands, your little bitty joints in your hand, and especially your thumb. And when you can't pick things up, it's very difficult. One recommended remedy is exercise. When you exercise, your brain releases endorphins, and endorphins are like having a shot of morphine. It's a high, it's a natural high, and it makes you feel better after you've exercised. Physical therapist Gail Harris has worked at Healthplex Bay Medical Sacred Heart for more than 30 years. She says when it comes to treatments, they base everything off research and evidence. Our newest journal was in June in the Journal of Orthopedic Sports and Physical Therapy, and in there was a large uh, article about the benefits of, osteo uh, excuse me, of exercise for osteoarthritis of the hip, the knee, and the spine. Harris says they see many patients who suffer from joint pain, and if exercise is too painful, there are other options. In the water, that takes anywhere from 50 to 75 percent of the pressure off of your joints depending on how deep you are in the water. So if I'm, you know, shoulder deep, my knees and my hips and my ankles have 75 percent less pressure on them. So I'm able to walk and exercise with no pain. For this week's Health Desk Report, I'm Megan Myers. This